Hi V. Hi teacher. And how are you today? I'm good, thank you. And you? I'm good, thank you. Okay. So, um, man will join us. Let's just go down and uh, he will come now, probably. Okay, we're going to do the vocabulary and we're going to do um, new words here, vocabulary. Let's read these words first. Vocabulary and we're going to do um, speaking. Let's read the words erupt. Erupt. Strike. Strike. Rage. Rage. Berry. Berry. Collapse. Collapse. Shake. Shake. Good. What does erupt mean? Do you know erupt? No. Erupt. Okay, I'm going to type it all for you here so that we can understand it. Now, a volcano can erupt. That means when it comes out, it becomes lava. So it becomes active. Become active um, and, and ejects lava or ash, it becomes active and ejects lava. That's what erupts means when it comes out. Rage, do you know the word rage? No. Okay, rage means um, when you are very, very um, angry. Rage is uncontrollable uncontrollable anger, then you are raging, you, you're enraged, or he acted in rage and he killed his son, or he acted in rage and he killed his animal, parrot or pig. It's people usually go to jail and go to the police uh, or to jail when they act in rage, it's uncontrollable anger. Strike, you know the word strike? For example, when uh, when electricity, not electricity, when um, when uh, lightning strikes, when lightning strikes, that means um, hit with force. Hi, man. Man, can you hear us? Man, can you hear us? Okay, strike is hit by force. That's when you hit bury. Bury is when you, uh, if I bury my apple in the ground, bury. So I hide it. You hide it underground. You hide it or put, or put it underground. Collapse. You know the word collapse? No. Collapse is when they fall over. When they collapse, they you something that falls over. Collapse. When it suddenly falls down. Or give away. When the ground gives away, collapse. Shake. Now, when the earth will shake with an earthquake. And it will shake. Shake means uh, to vibrate. When it's stable, it vibrates. That's shake. Okay. Um, yes. Man, are you there? Yes. Okay. Man, let's have a look at the words. Let's read it together. Erupt. Erupt. 
erupt. Maggie, erupt. read it with us. Rage. Rage. Strike. Strike. Berry. Berry. Collapse. Collapse. Shake. Shake. Okay. What does it mean? Uh, v. Berry. What does berry mean? Berry means high or put it underground. Yes. What does rage mean, man? Man, what does rage uh, mean? Um, uh, uncontrollable anger. 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 Uncontrollable anger. Yes. Uh, what does collapse mean, V? Collapse. Collapse means suddenly falls down or give away. Good. Erupt. What does erupt mean, man? Become active in uh, just lava ash. Ejects lava or ash. Strike, V, what is strike? Strike means hit with force. Shake, man, what is shake? Um, vibrate. Vibrate, yes, good. Okay, let's read number one. V, you can do one. The recused workers set up a camp to So again, the rescue workers set up a camp too for the flood victims. To range. Okay, what do you think, man? Can you look at number read number one, man? Man, can you put your camera on? It's very difficult to see if you are concentrating or wasting our time. I don't know what you are doing because you are not answering the questions. Man? Yes. What are you doing, sweetie? Can you put your camera on? Yes. Okay, put your camera on so we can see that you're concentrating and learning with us. Now, do number one, man. Man, number one. Man, we can't hear you. Number one. I don't know. Okay, let's go to number two, man. You can read number two. On the second day, there was a brainstorm we kept to.
On the second day, there was a rainstorm, which helped to Down here. Let's just do this one first. Okay, now we're going to okay. Here, let's do this one first. Yesterday, a terrible storm v the rural area of the province. Yesterday, a terrible storm collapsed the rural area of Hazan province. Okay, remember collapse means it just, so I could either say strikes. You won't use it, you will use it in a different form, in the correct form. Man number two, the villagers rushed into public shelters as soon as the volcano. Man number two. Number two is uh, on. What's number two, sweetie? Okay, V, can you help? Number two, V. I, I think it's erupt. Yes, erupted. You have to uh, change the uh, form of the word. Erupted. Hundreds of buildings were completely destroyed in, when the earthquake. Man, number three. You have to use these words, but in a different form, past tense. Man, number three. Man, we can't hear you and I can't call you for five minutes before you answer. You are wasting our time, man. If you can't learn uh, now, no. you must tell your teacher, okay? Because you're wasting our time now. Number three is what's number three, man? Um. I don't know. V, what's number three? I think it's collapsed. Shook. When it shook the city. It shook the city. Okay, number four. V, the mudslide, the whole village, while people were still sleeping in their houses. Buried. Yes, buried them. Buried them while they were sleeping in their houses. Man number five, the forest fire for eight hours. Yeah. 
Number seven is strap. Strike. Strap. Yes, number five. Number And what's number five? Can you read number five? In the forest, five, uh, for each hour and some animal was badly injured or killed. Badly injured or killed. When the, the forest fire raged, it raged. Okay, number six, V. We managed to run out of the house into the street before the world collapsed. 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 Good. Okay. Man, I wanted you to read number one. Yesterday, a terrible storm struck the uh, rural uh, area of Hanyang province. Number two. Uh, we let your into public shelter as soon as uh, the volcano erupted. Good. Number three, V. Hundreds of buildings were completely destroyed when the earthquake struck the city. The mercy uh -huh. buried the whole village while people were still sleeping in the houses. The forest fire range for eight hours and some animals were badly injured or injured. killed. We managed to run out of the house into the street before the walls collapsed. Yes, good. Okay, number two. The village take evacuate provide put out. The village will scatter the village take it to the forest fire. Yeah, provide shelter put out aid. Match the verbs in column A to the nouns in column B. Um, so scatter. Take shelter. Provide aid out of the forest. Uh, okay, see. okay, so we're gonna do like put out the forest fire, provide shelter, uh, evacuate the village, scatter, depress, and take aid. That will probably be your answers there. Uh, depress. You know what depress is, V? No. That is scattered pieces of material that's lying around. Scattered pieces. You will see now. Now use the phrase in two in the correct form to complete the words. Let me take a photo. Uh, here. Okay, now I'm going to type the words here for you that you can use, but in a different form, okay? Maybe past tense or 
the different form you can use them. Scatter, take, evacuate, provide. and put out. Okay, you can use these words. Number one, man, now use these words to help you fold in here. Rescue worker set up a camp two for the flood victims. And your rescue. Ah. Okay. Uh, I can just see here. Sorry. Now you're going to use these. Sorry. Wait. Hang on. You're going to use these words as well. Hang on, I can type it for you. Uh, provide aid. We have to use both. De priests. Um, take shel shelter. Put out the forest fire and evacuate, evacuate the village. Okay, so you can choose these here. You can choose these. Okay, try number one again, man. The rescue worker set up at camp two. Man, number one. Yes. Number one, man. Uh, you read your workers at, set up a camp to mm, Choose the words up there in the in the purple box. Man, I can't hear you. Number one. Your rescue worker share up okay. Two, four, mm. V, can you help him? I can put out the forest fire. To provide aid. To provide aid. The rescue worker set up a camp to provide aid for the flood victims. Aid means they help them if they, like the doctors can help them if they've got a broken bones or they can give them medical aid, medical aid stuff to help them. On the second day, there was a rainstorm which helped to V number two. Teacher, what is scatter the place? That means uh, lots of little pieces that scatter, they go all over. I can evacuate the village. 
Okay, number two is um, put out. Remember the rain. If the second day there was a rainstorm, which helped to put out the forest fire. Put out the forest fire. A man number three, when the storm started, When the storm started, uh, Jay. Uh, Jay. Uh, take, uh, took shelter they took shelter in a cave number four v as a tornado moved through the town high winds across the street okay uh, when their storm started uh, as their Tornado moved through the town. High winds. Echo. Uh, scattered. Separate. Across the street. Yeah, scatter means to go all over. So the wind went all over. And lots of pieces were flying around. Because of the wind. Strong wind. Okay. Number five. The last one man. Uh, the police had to uh, The last one that's left, man. I don't know. It's the last one, man. You must just concentrate. You're not concentrating. Look, man, there's five questions and five answers. Which one is left? We have used all of them except one. Which answer is left that we haven't used? Uh, the Polish need to uh, evacuate the village. Yes, the police had to evacuate the village to public shelters before the volcano started. Evacuate. Okay. Let's pronounce these words. Technology. Technology. Photography. Photography. Ecology. Ecology. Biology. Biology. Apology. Apology. Biography. Biography. Geography. Geography. Psychology. Psychology. Okay, man, can you read it? Yes. Uh, technology, biology, geography, uh, photography. Apologies, ecology, biography, uh, 
psychology. 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 Okay, speaking, read the news reports A to C and match each one of them to put a picture. Uh, and then we'll do the speaking. Okay. Okay, now we're going to do the speaking here. Okay, number A. V, you can read number A. A tornado hit a small town in Missouri at 9 a.m. yesterday. People say the sky darkened very quickly. The winds were so strong that trees, cars, and even houses were picked up and carried for miles. Our local TV and radio stations had issued an early warning. Most of the residents had had time to take shelter underground or in basement. Okay, man number B. Uh, a powerful is, is, uh, struck the north edge of Japan at 4 p.m. last Monday, although Japan had a, <clears throat> a Venice winning system there has been no early winning for this one, and people were not prepared. Uh, suddenly, the ground start moving. The shocking continue for a few uh, minutes and become stronger. People began running away from building as walls started to collapse. That's good. Number CV. Mount Sinegal in Indonesia erupted again two days ago. From where we were standing, we could see a big crowd of us coming from the top of the mountain. As the lava ran down the volcano sides, it destroyed everything in its path. By the next morning, several villages around the Mount Snaven were buried in ash and debris. All right. Okay. Now we're gonna have conversation. So you're gonna be talk to each other, man. And V, you are going to talk to each other. Look here. Here, you're going to say, this is the example. Did you watch the news last night? No, what happened? There was a powerful earthquake on Monday. That's shocking. Where was it? Then you use this information to tell. So V is going to say, did you watch the news last night, man? Man will say, no, I didn't. What happened? Then we will say there was a tornado uh, on yesterday in Missouri. And man will say that's shocking. Where was it? In Missouri at 9 a.m. People said the sky darkened, the winds were strong, cars and houses were picked up, and the local radio warned people to go to their basement. So you're going to have a conversation about the news, okay? Are you ready? V, you can start. Did you watch the news last night? Man, V is waiting for you. I don't know what you are doing, but you're not concentrating today. Man? Yes. What are you doing, man? He's waiting for you. You need to concentrate. Yes. Okay, so start. 
Did you ask the new listener? No, man, because you are not concentrating. If you don't have time to learn now, then you must tell us, okay? Because you're wasting our time. V is waiting for you. V asked you, did you watch the news last night? What are you going to say now, man? Man? Yes. Okay. We start again, please, because now man is listening. Did you watch the news last night? No, I didn't. What happened? There was a power earthquake on Monday. Yes. Shocking. Where was it? Okay, now you have to use this one. You talk, you're talking about the earthquake. Now you have to use this information to tell him, okay? It was uh, in Japan at 4 p.m. last Monday. Okay, tell him some more. Although Japan has most advanced warning systems, uh, there had been no early warning signs. They couldn't repair. The ground started moving and shaking. People began running away from the building. Okay, use the information to tell him. Try again, V. Other Japan has the most advanced warning system. There had been no early warning for this one, and people were not prepared. Suddenly, the ground started moving. The shaking continued for a few minutes and became stronger. People began running away from buildings. A square started to collapse. Hey, man, now you can start. Did you watch? Did you watch? Man? Yes. Okay, you can start, man. Did you watch the news last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Uh, there was a powerful earthquake on Monday. No, she spoke about number B already. So you must speak about now, man. We spoke about the earthquake. You can either speak about the tornado or about the volcano that erupted. Uh, it was a uh, a mouth. There was a Mount Cinnabon that erupted two days ago. Now we will say that's shocking. Where was it? Okay, tell her about this. Tell her about number C, man. There was a mouse and a bank in Indonesia. Uh, mouse and a bank in Indonesia uh, erupts again. Two days ago, from where we were standing, we could see a big cloud of ash coming from the top of the mountain at the level rain that the volcano shy. It destroys everything in each by the next morning. 
several bilak um, around mga sign bang were perished in ash and uh, they perish. Okay, now you can ask again. Okay, V, you can go again. Did you watch the news last night? No, I didn't. What happened is there was a uh, there was a tornado last month uh, yesterday. Yeah, shocking. Where was it? It was uh, it hit in a small town in Missouri. People say the sky darkened very quickly. The winds were so strong that streets, cars, and even houses were picked up and carried for miles. A local TV and radio station has issued an early morning, an uh, early warning. Most of the residents have had time to take shelter underground or in basements. Good, yes. Okay, now I want man to do one, one more time. Man, you can start. Um, did you watch a new last night? No, I didn't. What happened? Uh, there was a powerful earthquake on Monday. That's shocking. Where was it? Uh, a powerful earthquake. Um, the northeast of Japan is 4 p.m. last Monday, although Japan has a more event warning system. Uh, there has been no early warning for this uh for this one and people were not prepared uh suddenly the grass start moving the shocking continue for a few minutes and become stronger people begin running away from building as world start to uh go slap Uh, did you what? Did you what the 